no need to be a journalist to know that um, massive open online courses are the big thing in education these days. And people are talking about prof a single professor disseminating information to millions. But if you're a journalist, you're probably yawning because you've been disseminating information to millions for a few centuries now. Um, and so you could just say that education is starting to become more like journalism. But if that's true, then journalism is starting to become more like education. Uh, and so I think it's interesting to ask, what sort of ideas can we pull out of education if we want to say, instead of telling people about the news, what would it mean to teach them the news? And so um, this is uh, pondering that a little bit. I'm not talking about the kind of news that I just read for fun, uh, the way I read space opera. And that kind of news, if I forget it, it's actually a good thing, because then I can read it for a second time and have just as much fun. Um, <laughs> instead, um, I want to talk about the sort of news that wants to try and make a change by telling people about problems or that they can solve or opportunities that they might want to pursue. And this obviously requires people to reflect and understand and retain uh, the information that's being conveyed. But if you're talking about understanding and retention, you're talking about education. Um, so, unfortunately, uh, it turns out that reading and listening are really bad ways to learn things. Um, uh, you need to get people more involved in the information if you want them to actually uh, acquire it. Um, and actually, Mickey Chi, who's a professor right here at ASU, has put this on a scientific basis by creating this hierarchy of different types of learning activities, with passive listening and reading as the worst of them, moving up through active construction of information, and at the best, discussion with other people as the best way to learn. And unfortunately, news is down there at the worst. Um, so how can we take some of these more active uh, learning mechanisms and bring them to journalism? Well, if we take from what's in... Um, uh, education, we've got you know the usual short answer quizzes, essays, in-class discussion, collaborative project-based learning. Now you might object and say, this works great for 20 people, but how could we do it for a million? Well, that's what MOOCs are all about, right? Scaling up the education. So for example, now there's already software that can automatically grade short answer questions without any intervention from a uh, human being. So that really scales up the ability to give quizzes. Um, if you don't like the computer, uh, there's a professor at Stanford who's done some really nice work showing that if he on peer grading, where if you give students in the class an appropriate rubric, they can assign scores to their peers with a 91% correlation to what the teaching assistants in the course would give. Project-based learning is another thing that's wonderfully scalable um, and used a lot in uh, education. And we've already got some examples of this that could be brought into journalism, things like the Minister's Expensive Pro Expenses Project, which was an analytics project, and of course Wikipedia, which is a giant authoring project. Now let's talk about discussion. Well, this is the most important and best kind of learning um, in the classroom. Online, we have those wonderful discussion forums to support that kind of activity. Um, unfortunately, uh, discussion forums don't seem to have worked out all that well in many, new uh, in many new sites. Popular Science recently shut theirs down when they discovered that all the spam errors and trolling uh, were giving people a negative opinion of science. Um, but this is a place where I think that MOOCs and online education is actually doing quite well. So in a course that we helped teach at Harvard uh, last semester, we got thousands of polite, thoughtful comments on copyright law. Now, have you ever seen even one of those on Slashdot? <laughs> Right? So I think this is because forums are run a little bit differently and that we could lift some of those ideas from the education world into the journalism world. So in, for example, when you go into uh, a class, you have an enrollment process that sort of brings home to you that you're becoming part of a community that has a shared objective to learn something. Um, you also have a teacher who is somebody that you're eager to impress with your smartness on the forum and who you know could actually give you some consequences if you start to, uh, to, to make trouble. And so we don't tend to have these sort of trolling and spamming problems in uh, online discussion forums. Now, you might ask, why would anybody be motivated to study the news? Well, I think it's the same motivations as for any sort of online learning, right? You may just want to get smarter. You may want to get certified in some way, and that could certainly be done. You know, here is an expert on news. You may want sort of the fame of showing off what you know. Um, and then, of course, there's the whole sort of gamification movement in online education. You know, how many people do you think would sign up if getting an A in the news course got you early access to news articles or got you Carl Castle's voice on your answering machine? <laughs> right? Um, now, the reason I'm really excited about this is that I know that any time an article gets published, there's all this other information that you, the reporter, have that makes you the expert who wrote that article that is not getting out to the public. And I think that if we think about a teaching model where people can go deeper, then that will allow you to get that information out to a public who can benefit from it. Now, I'm obviously not the right person to teach this course, not being a journalist, but if this has inspired you and you know of a good guinea pig uh, candidate teacher, um, I'd be happy to talk to you about whether we might be able to use the MIT edX platform as an infrastructure for actually doing such a course. Thanks very much.